Hey everyone, it's Amy from Child Development Council and today we're going to do an activity. I'm going to show you everything that you need for this activity. I'm going to walk you through it and then in the comments below you will see all of the items listed that you'll need. And if you don't have something that I have in the video, see what you can use around your house. This is going to be an interesting activity because there's so many different ways that you can do this. And I will start with a disclaimer. I absolutely love the Dollar Tree store, but Child Development Council and myself, we do not get any freebies, kickbacks, uh, any discounts from the Dollar Tree. I just happen to love that store. So a lot of my items come from there. So what are we gonna do today? So first and foremost, this activity is for the family. You can have older children, younger children, Obviously, you want to be safe. So if there's children, especially under three, definitely need a parent or a much older responsible person in the household to help with the activity because we are going to use glue and scissors. So we just want everybody to be safe, but have a lot of fun. OK, so what we're going to do is show you everything that you need. Got all my little basket here. We're going to start off with some glue and paint. I have little colored pom-poms. I know it's a little hard to see. Little fuzzies. And I do have my scissors. And I went a little crazy and bought some fun googly eyes. You can see those. We're going to glue those on. And I also have some markers, thin markers, thick markers. And I have a little cup of water with a paper towel and a paintbrush and our popsicle sticks. So again, if you don't have popsicle sticks and you can't get out of the house to go buy some, you can cut up some cardboard boxes and you can make them any size you want. So what we're going to do today is a popsicle stick frame. Super easy, fun. This is a great gift idea to come from little kids to a grandparent, um, an aunt or an uncle, a teacher, your doctor, anybody that you want to give a gift to. So we're going to start off super easy and we're just going to put a little bit of glue on the ends of each of the popsicle sticks. We'll start here. We don't want to put too much glue on, but just enough. And this will take a few minutes to dry, so you have to be patient. I know that's really hard to do. So once you're used to making an activity like this, and you don't need my video anymore, you could put on some music and just have a lot of fun with your family. So I'm going to put a couple more on. And the cool thing about this activity also is you can make it any shape you want. So if you decide not to do the basic square or rectangle, and you want to do some crazy shape, then what you do is whatever picture you're going to put in there, and that could be a photo, it could be a drawing that your child made. And then you can just kind of cut it up into the shape of the frame. All right, just need a couple more popsicle sticks. And again, we're just putting a little bit of glue at the end of each part. So I got just a little bit of glue here because it's my last one, so I need two. I'm going to put this one, oops, be able to see here, face down. And so I have made, can you see what shape that is? I've got two short sides and two long sides, a rectangle. All right, so we're going to let that dry for a few minutes. And what I've decided to do is a little bit of paint. I like red. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of red. And again, if you don't have any paint or you can't get to the store, you can use markers. Believe it or not, you can use crayons too on the popsicle sticks. And I'm just going to put a little bit of red this particular popsicle stick. Now again, this is the glue is still drying, so you definitely want to be careful. Um, the other thing 
that I didn't do because my table is very easily cleanable. You can put paper towel or newspaper underneath your popsicle sticks so you don't get paint on your table. All right, so just going to paint a little bit here and we're going to dip my brush into the water and then a little bit onto the paper towel. Again, if you don't have paper towel, you can use a napkin or a cloth that can be washed in the washing machine. And I'm going to do some blue. Again, you just need a little bit of paint on your brush, not too much. Now again, your glue is still drying, so because of time, uh, I'm going to keep painting and doing my art on the popsicle sticks, but you probably should wait a little while. Maybe about 30 minutes or so. So maybe what you can do is create, start this activity and create your shape of your popsicle stick frame, and then maybe go read a book or have some lunch or go do some homework if you have any. And even if you're a younger person who's not quite in school, something else that you can do is just make some drawings. And then if you're still having trouble learning to write, the best thing to do is draw your picture and then have an older sibling or an adult that's near you write the story of what's going on in your picture. I'm gonna put a little bit of water. Ooh, look at my, my watercolor is turning. Something else to learn is about your colors. So red and blue makes purple. Kind of looks a little bit black because it's dark on the video, but all right. So I'm going to be done with this. And again, just for time, I'm not going to paint the other parts of my popsicle sticks right now. What I want to do is carefully take the scissors and open up my little pom-poms. And I'm going to really carefully glue these onto my popsicle sticks. Again, this is a great activity for learning patience and staying calm because this can get really, really tricky. So you want to push the pom-pom down when you put a little bit of glue on it. And I've got a black one. I'm going to put a little blue one. And again, just for personal reasons, at the Dollar Tree, you can get all kinds of fun art supplies there. They have the thin popsicle sticks, they have wider popsicle sticks, which can be a little bit easier for younger children's hands as well. Um, I got my glue there, got my googly eyes, which I'm gonna do next. They have a lot of great items over there. And you'll be seeing a lot more of the activities that I do with items from there. I think I'm going to put a big googly eye on my popsicle stick frame. Oops. Okay. That is going to look very, very silly. But it just gave me an idea. I think what I'm going to do for this particular popsicle stick frame frame. I'm going to put two googly eyes and I'm going to make my popsicle stick frame kind of a fun cutesy little googly eye monster frame. Now let's see again mine's still drying. You probably should wait like I said maybe about 30 minutes or so for your glue to dry. But if you can see oh my glue's still drying. It's kind of hard to see. But I've got, okay, we'll wait a few more minutes. Gotta love these live videos, right? Okay, I think I'm gonna put some pink little pom-poms on here. We'll just do a couple more. Now again, you don't even have to put any actual decorations on here. You can just paint it, you can just use marker. Um, again, you could probably even use crayons. And then what you're gonna do when it's all done and dry, again, whatever the shape of your popsicle stick frame is, 
you're going to have a picture, whether you're you drew it, your child drew it, drew it or uh, an actual photo, and you're going to cut it. And then you're going to, when everything's dry, you're going to flip over carefully the popsicle stick frame. And you're going to either very lightly glue or maybe even tape the picture onto the frame. Okay. And then you'll be able to give it as a picture as a present. Now, here's something that I learned a long time ago from my mom. Whenever an item like this is made, especially if you're going to give it as a gift, you always want to put the child's name and the date on the back. So you can always look back and say, oh, remember when you were three and you made this gift for me? How fabulous. I've kept it all these years and oh, look, it's hanging on my wall. That's exactly what family members and friends teachers and your doctors and everybody who loves you wants to know when did you do this because it's amazing especially if you're younger that always makes it more fun all right i know mine is still a bit wet but i'm just gonna give you a quick shot my little googly eyes and there goes my glue see my little googly eyes at the top I've got some pom-poms and I'm coloring my popsicle sticks and mine's falling apart. <laughs> and again, this is the fun reality of live videos. I decided not to do take one, take two, because I want you to see that mistakes happen and the wind blows and we're just having fun. That's what this is all about. So I hope you'll stay tuned for more videos and more activities. Not all of them will be crafts. We'll have some games and puzzles and exercises and a lot of fun stuff to do. So check out the Child Development Council at www.childdevelopmentcouncil.org and you can be a part of our agency. If you're looking for help with parenting education or child development, the only requirement that we have for our local community, and that's for Cortland and Tompkins counties in New York, the only requirement is you have to have at least one child under five. And we can do home visits, virtual visits, we can do phone calls and just help you out. So let us know if you need anything. But if not, and even if you're not in our local area and you're across the country, across the, the globe, that would be amazing. You can always send us an email. You can comment below and let us know maybe an activity that you love to do with your children or grandchildren, nieces and nephews, and just let us know what else we can do. We also read books for children on our YouTube channel. So please subscribe and let us know what you think. Thanks. See you next time.